Hey guys, Matt from Oars. So today we're going to repair and rust on the side of this car. As you can see, it's left a lot of holes in the body. There's a lot of videos on YouTube showing how you can repair this with fiberglass fillers and all sorts of body fillers, but that's not the right way to do it. I'm going to show you how we can actually cut this section out while in a piece of sheet metal, grind it all down, smooth it up and get it ready for repainting the car and you won't even know it was there before and it'll be a long lasting repair as well. Okay, so one of the most efficient ways to grind rust off your car is to use a small grinder. There's a choice of different uh, heads you can get for the grinder too. This is a wire brush head, especially for removing rust in your car, they're actually quite good, but you can also use a flap disc as well, which I've used in the past. These are actually really, really good for uh, sanding out the rust and getting it really smooth looking. Um, but as long as you have one of these, it really speed up the process. You could use 80 grit sandpaper and sand it away, but for the sake of the video and just for speed, I'm going to use uh, an angle grinder. Okay, so I've got the flap disc on the grinder. I'm just going to sand away as much of the rust as I can. Really at this stage, we're just trying to eradicate as much, much of the rust from the surface of the metal. Hopefully we'll get back to shiny good metal that we can weld to. Okay, so the grinder's removed all the rust from the surface. It's all sanded away. Now we're left with the holes in the body. Here I have the actual template we're going to be using to patch the, the body. I need to cut this down to size. And it'll have to be a perfect fit before we start to weld. We swapped our blade over for a narrow two mil disc. Now we're going to use this disc to cut out the square section to remove all the rust. Okay, so if you've got a magnet, it can really help when you're doing metal work. That's a rusty piece of metal removed. Okay, so here's our old piece we just cut out. Now we're going to put it onto the new piece of steel and we're going to make a perfect template from the old piece. Okay, so we've got our two pieces of metal. This is going to act as a template for the newer piece. It can be very hard to actually draw or uh, scribe steel. Some people use a scribing tool. What I actually go use is a roll of masking tape. Now we know we've got the perfect template. So when we cut this down, that'll fit exactly into the hole we have. Okay, so I'm just offering it up here. It's a pretty good fit. Needs a little bit of filing off the top edge here just to get it to be a perfect fit. Now it fits really nice. Just got the flap disc in the grinder here. Going to grind about an inch round the edge just to give a good area to weld to. Okay, so now we're moving on to the welding process. You want to make sure you've got a welding mask and some gloves. This is the welder I'm going to be using. It's a MIG. I recommend for beginners always start on a low set, maybe one or two. That way you won't burn any holes through the uh, panel. This is a quick little example I've set up. Okay, so I've cleaned the metal down with a grinder underneath the earth strap as well to give it a good contact. I've also done the same here. We're going to be welding just for an example. Okay, so we've got our welding torch in our hand. We're going to use two fingers to press the trigger. We hold the torch about 5mm away from the metal. Okay, you can see we just put two tacks on it and you can see how strong it actually is held. 
Okay, so this metal is a lot thicker than the metal on the car, but on the car, in order to reduce heat, we're going to tack in one spot and then move to a different spot and tack and then move back again and tack. This way we won't heat the actual metal up too much. If we heat the metal too much, it'll warp and it'll leave a, a bend in the actual panel. Okay, so I've welded a little nut on here just to hold the earth strap. Now I've got a good spot for an earth. I'm just going to offer it in one last time before I make my first tack. Once you've got it tacked once, that's it. That's the position it's going to be in. Remember to keep the tacks as far away as possible for the minute. Sometimes some areas need a little bit of pressure just to get it to seat in properly before you tack it. This is actually a little bit sped up here. I've actually taken a little bit of time to leave the panel cool down in between each weld. Now it's just a process of going around and filling in the gaps, making sure not to leave any areas untacked. I went away for about five minutes and I've came back. I've just sped this up again, just running around and tacking in any areas that I've missed. Okay, so we just finished with our tack welds. It's all tacked in really, really nice, no bits missing. Just going to remove this earth strap now. And then we're going to get our flap disc on the grinder and we're going to grind down the weld really smooth. Okay, so we've got it all grinded down really, really nice. The weld's down nice and smooth. Now just to get this perfect, we're going to use a little bit of body filler. I'm going to skim it across and put a bit of primer on as well. Just got some 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to sand down the filler using a sanding block. Okay, so we got all the body filler sanded down. Now we're going to mask up everything for primer and paint. Okay, so we've got it all masked up. Now we're going to use a grey scotch bright to uh, scuff the rest of the panel for paint. I'm applying some 2K primer onto the panel. Okay, so I've got here some 800 grit sandpaper, a sanding block and some water. Now here with some base coat that I've had mixed up to the car's chassis number. Okay, so we got all the base coat on, now it's time for the clear coat. Okay, so there is all finished. This is the area where it had three small holes in it. We've professionally repaired it, welded in a section into it. As you can see, it looks nice and straight. We didn't use any fiberglass fillers or anything like that. So this job should last the life of the car. If you guys want to see a better video of a breakdown how to do a paint job, you can watch it uh, on one of my other videos. This one was just a quick uh, blast through just to show the finished result with the welding. This car hasn't actually even got an engine, it's heading to the scrap heap. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.